me again, Christine. Uh, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome here for the first time. Um, I saw this photo circulating online and I had to make a video about it. Honestly, this is something super common, especially among new clarinet players, high school clarinet players, um, and even amateur adult players who, who are playing for fun. That. That is the result of not taking your reed off the mouthpiece. I mean, this is an exaggerated case. Not all reeds that are left on the mouthpiece are going to wind up like this weird, moldy, spiderwebby thing. But when you're playing the clarinet, the reed should be moist. You're blowing warm air and condensation and saliva is building up in the mouthpiece and on the reed. If you don't take the reed off the mouthpiece, the reed and the mouthpiece don't get a chance to dry properly. They stay together and all that moisture stays in there as well. And then mold grows and it is gross. It can actually be super dangerous. There were studies that actually found that wind and brass players have a higher tendency of developing bronchitis and other respiratory illnesses because of this moisture that builds up in the instrument. So to all of my students and to all of the people watching, the five people who watch my channel, please, please, please take the reed off the mouthpiece. Oh, my New Yorker came out off the mouthpiece. Do it, okay? Trust me, take it off. So every time you're done playing, read off the mouthpiece. Put the reed in a reed case. It can be the plastic reed case that the reed came in. You can buy different reed cases online. Uh, tons of different companies make them, Van Doren, Daddario. So whatever you do, take the reed off the mouthpiece so it can dry and the mouthpiece can dry. And while we're here, let's talk about a few other things with the clarinet that you should always do and that you should never do. So number one thing you should always do when you're done playing, swab out. Again, with the moisture and the, the potential mold and bacteria to build up inside your instrument, it is so important to clean out your instrument. Not sure how to clean it out? I'll show you. So what you'll need as a clarinet player is a swab. A swab is a piece of cloth on a string with a little weight at the end. So when we're swabbing out our clarinet, take the clarinet. We don't want to drop the swab in this way. If you look down into the clarinet, there's this little notch that sticks up. We call that the pip. Dropping it through this way, we risk the swab getting caught on that little post. So you actually want to turn the clarinet upside down, drop the swab through the barrel, and gently pull it through. And I would do that probably three, four, five times. And the swab will take out and absorb the moisture that's built up in the clarinet. If if for some reason, while you're swabbing out your clarinet, the swab is not pulling through easily and it feels like it has gotten stuck, stop immediately. Do not try to continue to pull the swab through. What you can do if the swab gets stuck, take the clarinet apart, leaving the swab in there. So, and we want to try to find the swab. So normally when it gets stuck, it's usually like this around here. So if you can try to pull it back the way that it came, it's moving a little, but it's still really stuck. You can take a very small pencil, um, a very thin dowel 
and try to push the swab back out. Again, though, you never, never want to force. If it's not freeing and coming right out, your best bet is to leave it where it is, go to your local music store, and they'll be able to remove it for you. And a lot of times, they'll remove it either for free or for a very low cost. But whatever you do, do not try to yank the swab through. This is another thing that I see commonly, especially with really young children or students who are just starting with the clarinet. This bass, this bell, seems so convenient so that when you're done playing, you can just stick it on the floor and let it stand alone. Like this. You see this? Don't do this. If you want a place to put your clarinet when you're not playing without having to take it apart, you need a stand. The stand is collapsible, folds up, fits in your case, and the clarinet will not fall over. Okay, so I think that's it for this one. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you have other like hard and fast, never do this or always do this uh, rules for your clarinet. Don't forget to subscribe for more clarinerty content. And yeah, until next time.